Hello friends, it is Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. It is Thursday and the kids are on spring break. So today's video is going to be a maybe just a day in the life type video. So thumbs up as always if you enjoyed it. So this week actually did not go to plan. I was hoping to record a spring decorating video and share that with you in the living room. However, with the kids being home on break and I also had a sick little one home on Tuesday, it just, it did not work. So we're just gonna roll with it and do a day in the life. So yesterday was their first day of break and we did some tasks around the house, cleaning, super exciting. We had doctor's appointments and then we ended the day going to the movie theater. We went and saw the new Kung Fu Panda 4 movie. We love all of them. I would say four was not my favorite. Some of the kids really liked it. Um, I think two of the four said it was their favorite of all the Kung Fu Panda series. I. Yeah, it was fine. It was good. I'm glad we were able to go see it. It was just good to get out of the house. So that is what we did yesterday. Today is kind of an at-home day as well. I'm going to talk about a little bit more later why we're staying home over spring break. Well, I can mention it now. We actually have a family vacation coming up here in like a few weeks that I've been busy preparing for. And so we're just going to stay home for for break, which is kind of exciting because tomorrow, I'm standing in the pantry, I know that's probably kind of weird. Tomorrow actually marks our one year of living in our home. Doesn't it feel so weird? It does not feel like it has been a year, but it does at the same time. So yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit of baking today. I also have just some random stuff around the house, but I also thought I would chit chat with you. Um, answer a few like random questions I've gotten lately on videos and of course talk about our upcoming trip that we have as a family I had a couple of Amazon packages from yesterday that I still need to open I'm always good for an Amazon unboxing Okay, sunscreen. Yes, we're gonna need that Lots of sunscreen. And then this is in preparation for baseball season, which is kind of nice. I'm looking extra pale today. I think it's the lighting. It's just kind of a, I don't know. It's always like dark in the house, on this side of the house. The sun comes in later in the afternoon. So anyway, so I got the baseball bag. And the reason I did was that the twins actually start travel baseball this summer. We're going to be so busy with three boys in baseball, but we love baseball season. Wouldn't have it any other way, so we're really excited about it. And that's on top of the, all their other activities, golf, um, they're doing spring soccer. There's, we just have a lot of different activities going on. So that's keeping us busy. Anyways, I digress. So I was at Goodwill earlier this week and I found a baseball backpack for one of the boys. So I was really excited. Madden, of course, already has one. Um, so this is for Andrew. It's basically brand new. I'm going to wash it though, just to, you know, make sure because it was a little dusty. But he's actually already used this for his first practice and he put one of Madden's old bats in it too. He's so cute. So of course, you know, you need one for each boy. So I just went ahead and ordered basically Ethan the same exact one. So that was $5 um, at Goodwill. So I just basically ordered Ethan a red version. Um, so they can tell them apart and red's always been Ethan's color of choice. So that was a kind of a random Amazon unboxing, but <laughs> baseball season is coming. And I'll show you these other random things. You'll have to let me know if you have any guesses where we might be going. So things are just slowly coming in. This is just what was in that package. So lots of sunscreen. My sunscreen of choice for our entire family is the Super Goop. And Amazon has a really good selection and you can use your health savings account, which is like a double bonus. So yeah, I'm just trying to start stocking up on different sunscreens and blister cushions. I know, kind of random, but also necessary. I'm going to finish my coffee. I still need to eat breakfast. The kids had the cinnamon rolls that you saw. They're always a big hit. And what else? I don't know. I just have so many little things I need to get done. It's like, where do we begin? I just washed a massive load of these OXO containers. 
I love them, but man, they are a pain to wash. So I'm glad that is done. I'm just about to eat my breakfast. I actually tried a new overnight oats recipe and it wasn't my favorite. It was fine, but not my favorite. But I did find when I add peanut butter and cacao nibs, these are like my newest find. It tastes really, really good. There we go. You might notice I've been sharing a lot of more like recipes and things that we've been baking. I've really enjoyed lately, honestly, being in the kitchen and just trying out all the things like healthy recipes, like not so healthy recipes, a little bit of everything. So you'll have to let me know if you like that. Based on my last video, which first of all, thank you so much for all your nice comments on like my morning routine. It means a lot. You know, there's always a few negatives in there that <laughs> you always remember but at the end of the day thank you for most of the comments we'll say um i had a lot of requests to share like what i eat in a day i don't know that i feel comfortable doing that just i don't i just don't want people to pick apart what i am eating my diet <laughs> if that makes sense now most of you wouldn't but there's always those in there that it's not perfect and um, so I probably won't do that. However, I am going to just share recipes and my meals as I share my day in life video. So I hope you will enjoy that piece of it. I am going to be trying new recipes and using some of my same old recipes, anything in between. A lot of my diet, so how it has worked, it's not really diet, it's a lifestyle but you know what I mean, my shift in my lifestyle of eating. <laughs> um, I really try to just do a good job of eating healthier for breakfast and lunch and then for dinner, I don't limit myself to only eating like a chicken breast or something like that. I eat like a regular meal like I used to, but it's all about portion control at this point. And this seems to be working really well. I'm not trying to lose any more weight. I know some of you are worried about that. I'm just really maintaining and like building my strength now, toning up my lower section is a big priority for me at this point. But anyways, I will just continue to share my meals as I vlog and hopefully you will like that and we'll kind of see where that goes. Yeah, anyways, let's talk about this trip. So I actually snuck away from the kids. They were all getting along. I'm like, oh, this is the perfect opportunity to just sit down really quick and talk about where we are going and why my life has been kind of consumed over the past week uh, with planning it. So we booked this trip probably right after the holidays. We received some cash for Christmas to put towards a vacation. We're like, you know what? This is the time to do it. So we finally, but and I say finally just because um, we haven't ever been as a family, but we are going to, hold on. Disney World <laughs> in just a few weeks. Oh my goodness. So I'm gonna take those off. We've been to Disneyland a few years ago because my sister lives out there. So we did Disneyland and now we are going to attempt to take on Disney World. Thankfully, we have a friend who is a really good travel planner when it comes to Disney. So she's basically done everything for us because we know nothing about it. And it has kind of crept up on us really quickly here. and. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm just not prepared at all. So we've started watching like YouTube vlogs and I've been watching packing videos and all the things, but we are going to be staying at the park. So, so that's exciting. I think that's what you call it. I don't even know. We're staying at Animal Kingdom in, I think it's Kidani Village. Is that how you pronounce it? I have no idea. Um, we just kind of did what was recommended to us and it looks like it's going to be great for our family of six. It's an adventure in itself just planning any trip or travel with the family, but Disney is like a whole new level. So yeah, I'm just trying to be as prepared as I can be and knowing that I won't be, um, I, I mean, I won't be prepared at the same time. So yeah, so that's why we're not going anywhere on spring break per se, but we will be in just a short few weeks. Now we, ha we are leaving after Easter and so I've talked to the Easter Bunny about possibly doing Disney inspired Easter baskets for the kids this year, like things they can actually use on the trip. So it's in that time where we need to start planning for that and preparing and um, all the things. So you understand where I'm going with that. But anyway, so we're super excited. So we will be in the parks for four days and then we also have a rest day. 
Animal Kingdom, Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Hollywood Studios. All four. Send help. Seriously though, any tips, tricks, let us know in the comments below. Right now we're just trying to decide like Genie Plus, is that something that we need? We have no idea. I think we are going to, but yeah, we'd love to hear any <laughs> recommendations that you have outside of that. So yeah, it'll be here before we know it, especially with like spring break. And then we're, I think we're like traveling for sports and things in between there. And then we have Easter and our trip will be here before we know it. So also my question to you is, would you like to see any sort of Disney videos? I mean, I'm not any sort of crazy Disney vlogger. I'm a newbie. This might be the only time we go. Honestly, we have no idea. Uh, but would you like to see like a pack with me video of things that I have bought for the trip? Would you like to see vlogs of us there? Maybe just like one video all together, not like daily or anything like that. But would you like to see that or should I just stick to decorating and homemaking and things like that? So let me know below. last minute decision for dinner tonight. I put a pork roast into the crock pot and so that's what we'll have but we are cleaning out the freezer over the next few days just trying to eat some of the foods that we have in there and we have no idea where this pork roast came from but it was time to cook it. So I just put some onion in the bottom and then I covered the pork roast in this. This is what my husband said to do. I think you can get this at Walmart or I think he buys them at Ace Hardware. So the blues hog, sweet and savory, and then two cups of chicken broth. And I could have probably used a larger crock pot, but I really wanted to use this one. So I quickly did that, brought Macy to gymnastics, and now my husband brought the boys to go bowling with some friends. So now I'm here all alone with Charlie Bear, who's roaming, hoping something will fall on the floor. Um, but I'm here for like an hour and a half until I need to go start picking up kids. So I wanna use that time to prep some things in the kitchen. I'm going to, lastly, I'm going to do some overnight oats. I know you guys are probably sick of it, but I seriously, I eat them every single day. And then the other thing, I actually wanna do this first. This is a recipe that's mostly for me. I don't know that the kids will eat it, but my husband will. It is called Four Ingredient Blueberry Oatmeal Cookies. I just screenshotted it off of Facebook. Now I'm gonna get it, just an influx of all these recipes. But it had like good comments on it. Like people said it's actually good and it looks super, super easy. So I'm going to give this a try, I think, first. This is just so weird to me. The house is so quiet right now. Unexpected hour that I have to take care of some things. It's kind of exciting. But anyways, I did tell the boys once I picked them up from the bowling alley, we will go to the grocery store and we can pick up some popsicles and ice cream bars and get our freezer all stacked up for the warmer months. Now that things have started warming up around here, we don't have any snow. Our ice is all gone. Our pond is like water now. And so let the fun begin. I will just put the recipe down in the description box, but for this recipe that I'm going to be making, two cups of oats, two bananas, half a cup of peanut butter, and a fourth a cup of blueberries. Last week I made the strawberry cream cheese, if you remember. The kids did not like it. Uh, it was actually kind of, it was too runny too, but they saw like, what's that little black specks in it? And I'm like, it's part of the strawberry, but no, nope, they, they would not have any of it. So that was kind of a fail, but you never know. I liked it, but um, some of these recipes you just don't know until you try it if you're gonna like it so probably won't do that again unless it's just for me okay time to focus
These cookies would be a great like breakfast item, I feel like, just because of the ingredients that they used. It did say you could add honey or syrup if you wanted a little bit sweeter cookie, but I decided to skip that this time around and just see how the basic four ingredients goes. I don't know, I think I can go 50-50. It's either going to be good or it's not <laughs> going to be ever made again, I don't know. And here's what they look like 10 minutes in the oven. I kind of had to squish them down a little bit because they were still in like the ball form. I don't know. Let's try one. The blueberries don't really stay in. Okay. So I can't say I recommend that recipe. Yeah. No, I wouldn't do it, but you're more than welcome to try it if you would like to find out for yourself. This next one is just my overnight oats I'm going to prep for the rest of the week. This is actually Kate and, Caitlin Nyer's recipe. She shared on her channel last week. I didn't have all the ingredients, so I just kind of made my own, but now I think I have everything the way she shared it. So I'm just going to uh, make her recipe. So I'll link her video that she shared last week if you want to go back and watch that for um, some more ideas and things like that. She had some good ones. Here's all the ingredients, almond milk, some, I use vanilla Greek yogurt. I think she uses plain, but and that's just what we have. So I'm gonna use it, chocolate protein powder, chia seeds, oats. I'm almost out of like my rolled oats, so I thought I'd pull out and use, I use these a lot with our protein balls that I make. So I'm just going to use those once those run out. And last but not least, we have the blue agave like syrup or whatever. Very good. But I did want to give a shout out to these jars. These I bought off of Amazon because my other ones that I was using were just too small. They were overflowing and it was just a mess. These are actually a set of six that you can buy. Two are in our dishwasher, so I'm only going to make four. But I love the twist tops. These are 16 ounces. They're amazing, dishwasher safe. I love them so much. I actually ordered yesterday the 10 ounce size, so a little bit smaller if I wanna make smaller portions for some of these uh, things that I've been prepping. So great not only for this type of thing for breakfast, but also, I mean, there's lots of different ways you can use these. Love them. So I think that's all I'm going to be doing in the kitchen for now until we get back from the grocery store. I also just whipped up a vanilla ice cream. This is just the regular vanilla ice cream for the kids for the Ninja Creamy. Uh, we love our Ninja Creamy, by the way. I haven't talked about it since around the holidays, but we still use it all of the time. Specifically, while we do plain vanilla, the kids just like their plain vanilla, and then we'll do like sprinkles on top. They love that. Husband and I, we do like the protein shake with the pudding mix. So good. We like the chocolate more, I'd say, but the vanilla is also good. So I wanna whip up a batch of vanilla, only because it, we just put it in the freezer and that way it's there when we want to have it because you need to have it prepped 24 hours in advance. So a lot of the things I'm making today, it's like I'm making it for the future. My future self will thank me. So this has turned into like a standard day in the life video. It feels like I'm going to pick up the kids, but I'm just, well I am, but not from school this time. <laughs> And so I'm going to get all of them. We're going to go to Hy-Vee, which is not where we typically grocery shop. I like it, but it's kind of expensive. I do a lot of my grocery shopping, Walmart and Aldi. But anyways, we're gonna stop at Hy-Vee because just it's centrally located and we don't have to drive completely across town to get popsicles. And then I also have a few other things I want to pick up while we're there, like oats. I ran out of oats now because we got oat crazy today. Um, what else? I can't remember what's on my list, but I have a list so I won't forget. So many choices. Bomb pops, for sure.
Need help? New Too many choices. Mm, new yeah. Fire cherry. Oh, I bet spice to nice. Yeah. That doesn't sound pleasant. A oh, value pack. That was the one I was gonna get. Okay. Macy requested cookie sandwiches. We are home and here's our little mini high V run. This totaled $49. To me that is just unbelievable. It's crazy, but we're all stocked up on ice cream now. So all of these will go out into the garage freezer. Each kiddo chose a different option. So we'll just share and it'll be hopefully fine. I always grab bananas when I'm out because we just go through them so quickly. Peanut butter was starting to get low. I've actually never tried this kind, but just kind of interested to see what it's all about. Two of these Fairlife Core Powers. I'm gonna use these probably both for our Ninja Creamies. Some Poppy, this is in the Raspberry Rose. I don't really have a favorite flavor, but they don't have like a variety pack like Thrive does, so I'll probably order through Fry Thrive. I can't even talk. And then just some more oats. Andrew just said, Mom, today is the best day of my life. I'm like, why, buddy? He said, because I got ice cream bars. And because I went bowling. I'm like, oh my heart. So sweet. So anyways, I'm going to put away these groceries. I thought we were home for the day. However, I just remembered Madden has golf lessons that I need to run him to shortly. But hopefully a low-key evening after that. We'll have our pork roast. Probably just shred it up. And hopefully we'll go on like a family walk or something like that. Here's how dinner turned out. The pork roast and some broccoli and I need to figure out something else to eat. I'll be honest, pork roast is not like my first choice but we are cleaning out that freezer. I bet it's your favorite though, huh? Okay, my friends, that is going to be it for today's video. We just finished up playing our Play 9 game that we love. Andrew kicked our butts. Seriously, our favorite game. I bet we play it four to five times a week. They're addicted. We're all addicted at this point. My husband's up hitting golf balls, if you can hear him. And then the kids are down in the theater. Macy's been awaiting this for months now. The Taylor Swift Eras Tour on Disney Plus goes live in like, two minutes so they are settled in down there they're gonna get to stay up a little bit late and watch some of that so anyways thank you so much for joining me for today's video i'm so sorry i did not get to decorating this week but i will be back at it next week and i will see you then so thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye